for today's video, we are doing episode... Oh wait, is this what I wanted to do? No. Ah! This is what we're doing. All right. Hey guys, for today's video, we're doing another squishy makeover series. As always, all of the credit goes to Mariah Elizabeth for coming up with the concept of squishy makeovers. I love her and she's a big inspiration for me and for this channel. So I've got three more squishies that I have purchased and I am very excited to decorate them. They're a little larger than my usual squishy makeovers, so that's exciting. And they're also very squishy. This one... Is, is having some balance issues, but the rest of them, the other two stand. I do have some exciting news that I forgot to mention. I did open a P.O. box because people have been asking me to. So yes, you can now send me your squishies. I will unbox them on camera and use them in future squishy makeovers. This is not a mandatory thing or anything like that. I just wanted to let you guys know the P.O. box is there. And if you would like to send something, just let me know and you can send something. So let's get started giving these guys a makeover. Okay, up first, we've got squishy makeover number one. This weird combination between a mouse and a dog. The ears make me think it's a mouse, but the paws and the tongue make me think it's a dog. What are you? Its eyes are terrifyingly large. Where does it begin? Where where do I end? Just an endless abyss. abyss. It just went on and on. Space. As far as squishiness goes, I'd say this is a 10 out of 10. It's very slow rising and it's definitely got a good feel to it. To ensure the paint will stick to the squishy, I sanded it down first. I took a craft scissor and cut off any excess squishy pieces that were around the edges to make sure we don't see the seam when we start painting. I used some white slick paint to fill in any of the gaps in the holes and make sure everything was nice and smooth before I started painting. We're doing some finger painting here. After everything had been smoothed out, I added a big glob of matte paint. A few coats later and he's ready for his makeover. So I started with a tan color for his face. After it had dried, I realized it was a little bit darker than I had anticipated, so I did lighten it up. Okay, now for the cup that the mouse is sitting in. I thought this light blue was too washed out, so I made it more saturated, but then I thought it was too bright. So then I added some black and darkened it up to this steel blue color, but then I thought, oh, it doesn't have enough color now. So then I made it like a royal blue color, but then I absolutely hated that. So I went back to the steel blue color from before. I, I think I'm happy with that. Only time will tell. Since I decided to make this squishy a mouse, my first idea for this was if you give a mouse a cookie, he's gonna want some milk. So what I decided to do was make the mouse made out of cookie dough and have him sitting in a pool of overflowing milk. What? Sounded better in my head. As time went on, I actually decided to make the cup filled with vanilla ice cream, so this could be cookie dough ice cream. Just because I felt like it looked a little bit more like ice cream than milk. I know, very appetizing to have a mouse made out of cookie dough ice cream. No. I have a secret for you. I myself actually do not like cookie dough ice cream. It's not like I hate it. If you put it in front of me, I'd eat it. It's just not my favorite in any way. I had to clean up that mistake right there, which was actually pretty simple. And then I added some hot fudge. I'd say my favorite kind of ice cream is a scoop of chocolate, a scoop of coffee, some hot fudge, some marshmallow sauce, and some Reese's in there. Mm, delicious. I don't know, what's your favorite ice cream? After the fudge and the ice cream dried, I then added some rainbow sprinkles to the edge of the ice cream to make things more colorful. Once everything had dried, I went for the mouth and I thought, oh, let me make it look like he's been eating the ice cream, but then it just looked like he had a milk mustache. So I uh, covered that up. I made the nose the same color as the chocolate chips and I filled in the tongue as well. Moving on to the eyes. No matter how many layers of slick paint I put on this thing, you still saw the outline of the eyes. So I ended up just sticking with the original size and hoping it wouldn't look like gaping holes in his face. Just because I feel like ice cream cups usually have some kind of design, I added a light blue stripe to the cup. So here's the thing about the eyes. Off camera, I accidentally stuck my thumb into the left eye while it was still drying. I got acrylic spray in my left eye. And I kept layering the chocolate on top of it, which was in hindsight a mistake. So when I look at this eye, I just feel disappointment. So at this point, I felt like the cookie dough mouse was just missing something and I wanted to make his ears have some puffy paint on it to make it look like he's just in a pile of ice cream, you know, like he's really getting messy. We're getting really crazy here. 
And then I said, you know what? I'm gonna take it one step farther. Let's add some sprinkles to the ears. I do actually feel like the sprinkles on the ears brought everything together. I feel like it added some color and I am very happy with this. This is the before and this is the after. I'm not really sure what to name this one, guys, so I'm gonna let you guys comment down below what you think the cookie dough mouse should be called and we can vote on it later in the week. Squishy number two is this narwhal in the moon. It just occurred to me that since I used green, I can do this. That's ridiculous, I literally love this. There are some minor scars on this, but nothing really crazy. It has very good squish value, very slow rising. I actually like the design, but it's just not really my style. So I'm gonna change it up and see if I can make something I like a little bit more. I'm sanding down the squishy just to make sure the paint will stick to it and it turned out that this paint was very peelable. It really just came right off. And now I'm ready to paint my white base coat. After my squishy was all prepped, I started on the clouds and I really wanted to make the clouds like a pastel kind of rainbow colors. So I started with pink and purple and blue, and then I added some green and yellow and orange. After quite a few coats of paint and a lot of blending, I ended up with something I was kind of happy with, so I decided to move on to the moon. I painted the moon with a very pale pastel yellow. I was going for a very pastel theme for... Noreen, the Norwal. Yep, that's her name. I just decided. I decided to paint Noreen blue, and it's a little bit darker than the other colors, but I think it's okay. I covered up any mistakes I got onto the moon, and this is what we're working with for Noreen's body. I started on the eyes by creating a very messy outline, which I then covered up with some white and left a very thin gray outline for the eyes. I made sure Noreen's iris colors were rainbow colored and I used the same rainbow pastel colors that I had used in the clouds. I added some white highlights to the eyes, some eyelashes to the um, eyes, a soft smile to her mouth, and then two eyebrows and some cheeks. And then I also decided to add some twinkly stars to the moon. I actually really like this one. I know it's a lot different from the original and I kind of liked the original, so I'm a little bit hesitant to say it's better, but it is different and it's definitely more in my style. Last but not least, we have squishy number three. Now this is the weirdest of all of them. This one, I don't know what, I don't know what this is. It's a flying away because it has some wings, but what is this? It's a hamster or a cow? There's a heart on the forehead, which I actually kind of like, and it does have very good squish value. So we got a 10 out of 10 on that front. There is some minor damage and rips to the squishy, but nothing too terrible. I'm sanding what I've decided to be a hamster down so that the paint sticks to it, trimming the excess squishy seams around the, <laughs> the hamster. And then I took out my tacky glue and glued the ear back together. I used the white slick paint to fill in all of the cracks. And then I also put slick paint over the face because I felt like it had a lot of bumps and cracks and I wanted to make sure everything was smooth. After everything had dried, I used way too much matte paint to give a nice white base coat to this hamster. The hamster was prepped, but I was not satisfied. Wings, no wings. Wings, no wings. No wings. I just, I wasn't feeling the wings, and this is what she looked like after her wings had been clipped. I decided to go with her original heart theme, so I painted her a light pink color. After that was all dry, I made a lighter pink color for her hamster face. No, her cheeks. Yeah, that's what they're called. I then added hearts all over her body in red, purple, and dark purple. Yeah. And I like this a lot, so I'm, I'm clearly going for a Valentine's Day hamster. It's very realistic. They exist in the wild. You guys, you gotta look it up, okay? After painting the bow purple, I then moved on to the eyes, which I filled in white and then tried to do the mouth and the nose. I decided to make the eyes a dark purple color, and then I filled in the pupils with this gray color, which looks awful and I will fix that, but while I'm contemplating how bad it is, I fixed the nose right there. I added some dark purple to the toes and then moved back to the eyes. I went back in and made the pupils black, which I think made everything look so much better. 
And this is how Val, after Valentine's Day, turned out looking. I really like Val. I think she's my favorite of this video. She did not stand in her before pictures, but she did mostly stand in her after pictures, which makes me think she's a little bit more confident now that she's had this makeover, guys. What do you guys think? Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I had so much fun making these squishies. If you want to see my other squishy makeovers, you can click the playlist on the bottom left. Otherwise, I'll see you guys next week for another video. Bye!